Society, and we're setting up this ED80 refracting telescope on behalf of the Camden Council Library Service. Uh, we do stress that uh, this is a delicate instrument and should be handled carefully. Also should not be pointed anywhere near the sun, uh, either in uh, use or in assembly, because just the slightest touch of sun to an eye uh, will cause permanent damage. The components of the ED80 refractor uh, consists of the tripod with adjustable legs. We have the mount, it's an alt azimuth mount. We have the main uh, ED80 refractor tube, it's a refractor telescope. And to that we attach a, uh, a finder scope, the diagonal, which allows you to insert eyepieces. Eyepieces, we have two. We have a wide angle 25mm and a smaller angle 9mm. And this component allows you to um, make slow movements to your declination to follow a star. The assembly of the ED80 refractor, we begin by locking the optical tube to the mount. Make sure you put the diagonal in first and then tighten this bolt. And I'm setting it approximately in the middle of the bar. Next, we put our finder scope into its mount, assemble the finder scope and adjust. We adjust with these two knobs up and down, left and right, to line up with um, the main scope. I'll go into more detail in a second. And to turn this on, Obviously it has a red dot, it's a, a red dot laser. Uh, we switch on here. It's powered by a small battery in here. Next we insert the diagonal. Make sure you take the caps off, otherwise it won't fit. And thumb tight. Then we insert the largest of the eyepieces the 25 millimeter and the last component is the slow motion there's a there's a, a notch here which the screw must go into And this allows you to elevate and depress the telescope and the bottom screw down here allows you to rotate. And so with both of the controls you can track any object that you are viewing. Please when you're setting up do not look at the sun because in daylight we want you to align the finder scope and the main scope. So we take off the cap of course and check out a, a distant tree or a telegraph pole 300, 400 millimeters away. Put it uh, into the center of your viewfinder looking through your, your main eyepiece. You then Make sure your red dot is on exactly that same point. And again, adjusting with these two screws that uh, I pointed out to you before. Um, so one gives you the altitude and one gives you the azimuth. Just make sure that you come uh, to a point so both of them are in the center. You're then aligned. As Soon as we've finished the alignment, we must make sure that our telescope is level. 
and we do this by just checking the tripod. If it's not, please make sure that you adjust your tripod legs with this screw. You have one on each leg so that you centre the bubble. It makes it much more convenient for operating your altitude and your azimuth. Now your telescope is set up to go. Please remember, do not point it at the sun. Permanent damage will be caused with just the slightest glimpse of the sun. If you have any maintenance problems or damages, please contact the library uh, so that they can uh, fix it for you. If you have a technical issue, please go to MacArthur Astronomical Society at their web page or at their uh, Facebook page. Send us an email, post a, a question on, on Facebook, we will get back to you. And here's wishing you clear skies. Mm -hmm.